Hey, Wilson, I just got these new speakers in here from JBL. I don't give a damn about your speakers. You don't pay me enough to buy one. Well, Wilson. All right, man, Wilson, you know, these are nice speakers, and I probably should pay you enough to at least be able to buy one of these, like at least enough to buy a Go 4. So I'll tell you what, man, I, give you, I, I can give you a little bit of a raise. You cool with that, bro? Sure, we'll do that. No, for real, I need you to be cool, cool, so we can actually talk about this. Like, you good with the, the small raise? Enough to get a Go 4? I can do that. That'll be fine. All right, my dog, right, my dog. Right. Let's hug it out, bro. Let's right, hug it all right, out. All right, all right. All right, man, cool. All right, man, come over here, man. Let's talk about this. So I got? got I got the JBL Go 4 right here. Let's move this out the way so you see. Got the Go 4 right here. This brand new. Then I got the JBL Clip 5 right here. It's brand new. But this Sony right here, this Sony XB100 came out and completely obliterated the Go 3 and the Clip 4. But now JBL is back and they came a little hard in the paint because what happened was they actually made the Go uh, the Go 4 sound better than the Go 3. And now the clip four actually, I'm sorry, the clip five sounds better than the clip four. So now it's only right just to test the Sony again against both of these, right? But we also got to figure out if you just like JBL and don't want to think about no other brands, which one of these? So we got to figure out if the Go 4 is a better speaker than the Clip 5 or vice versa. So which video do you want to do? We got to do two videos here. So which one you want to do? Sony versus JBL or JBL versus JBL? Let's do the JBL versus JBL. Cool. Let's kick Sony out for the meantime. All right. So here's what I've assessed so far, man. We got these right here. So this right here, we got a front firing speak speaker versus a clipping speaker or a down or an up firing speaker. So it kind of depends on how you want to face your speaker because this right now, they actually improved the backside of it. So now it can be an up firing speaker. Okay, it could be a forward firing speaker. This has to clip on something in order for it to be a forward firing speaker. It is otherwise going to be an up firing speaker. So that's something that people might think about, right? Then we got to think about like versatility with attaching it and grabbing it and going. So both of these are grab and go. You can fit them in your pocket. I got these cargo pants on, I just stick it in there. You know what I'm saying? I can do that with the clip. Actually, I can't do that with the clip. Let me see, I got a little clip right here, bro. Boom, I got my speaker right there, right? But I also have a loop right here. So this clips onto a carabiner if you want to, right? And then you can just, it becomes a clip on its own. So as far as functionality, Man, it kind of depends. If you add a carabiner to this, it becomes almost endless, but this has a built-in carabiner. In fact, shh, you can <laughs> look at that, bro. <laughs> so I don't know, as far as versatility and carrying both of them, I don't know, man. I don't know how you're gonna pull that off, but we cannot uh, negate the, nego is, is negotiate, negate, negate the fact, that's what it is. We cannot negate the fact that uh, the Clip 5 is actually a little bit bigger and thicker and chunkier than the Go 4. It's still a thicker speaker, man. So, I don't know. That, that's just going to de depend on your use case scenario. But here's where things really get serious. Battery life, okay? So, if you're grabbing and going, now you're out, you're going, right? You're only going to get up to seven hours worth of battery life on a JBL Go 4. That's two more hours than the, than the previous version, but it's still only up to seven hours. And I say up to seven hours. But if you got a clip five with you, you're getting up to 12 hours. That's two more hours than the previous version of this, which was 10, but it's still 12 hours. That's, that's a lot of time for a speaker this size. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a road warrior, you're going to be out for a while and you don't have a way to charge. By the way, both of them have uh, USB-C charging. Did I do that right? I didn't. <laughs> Where is it at? Where is it at? It's on. Oh, this side. There, there you is. go. They both have USB-C charging, but you're only going to get like up to 12 and up to seven. So if you need battery life, clip four is where it's at. Now, uh, let's talk about something else. Mm, Want to talk about connecting them to other speakers? Sure. All right. So now you can actually connect these to other speakers, right? So you can connect these two together or other like-minded speakers together. Or if you get two Go 4s, you can connect them in stereo. Or if you got two Clip 5s, you can connect these in stereo. So that's kind of even across the board. So they, they match up like neck and neck with each other there. What else would we need to talk about? Like, what, which one would you determine would be the speaker for you, Wilson? I'd probably say the Go. The Go, really? Yeah, I like the smaller speaker. 
Just because it's smaller? I think it's smaller. More what about that clippage, though? What about that clip action? I like to put a carabiner on it. So, I mean, I'll put my own carabiner. You, you got your own carabiner? I got my own carabiner. So, you're going to stick it on there? Exactly. And then you just carabine your ass on out of here? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you want to say that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, cool. So Wilson says the go, and that's just by looks, right? And just by functionality. Looks. Mm -hmm. You don't care about that battery life. Uh, at the moment, no. All right, so the go is going so far. Now we got to do a sound test. We got to do a sound test, bro. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. For those of y'all out there watching, I'm gonna do one in real time with Wilson, and then we'll cut to like a, a setup. That way we can actually put the mics on the speakers, and that way you can actually hear them for yourself close representa uh, representation of what they sound like. But Wilson, I want your opinion on which one you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook these up together. Not together, but I'm gonna hook them both up to my phone and we're gonna do something live. We're gonna have to fire them both up. That way you can hear them in the same light. Let me see here, they're both connected. Let me get into my, uh, my epidemic sound. Let me see here, doing this live, man. Oh, this is my house beat right here. Is this house? All right, this is the go for. Oh, this is max. Well, first of all, you want to do like 50% or max? I'll stick to 50 for now. 50? Yeah. All right, let's do them both at about 50. All right, it's going to be 50 for that one, 50 for this one. All right, so we're going to do. The go for first, this is at 50%. You digging it? So what kind of music is it? Is this house? I think it's house. House? Sounds right. like house. Let's go to that, let's go to that clip. It's definitely louder. Let's go back to the to the four. All right, would you, say, would you say they have the same sound signature or is one better, different, what? I think they're different. Okay, in which way? Uh, well, the, the clip is definitely louder for sure. Yeah, uh, and that might make people perceive that it's actually better. Louder is not always better. No, not always. So which one has a, like a more balanced or well-rounded sound signature? I think they'd go, but it's a little, like I said, it's just a little quieter right now. Let's turn it up. But you let's can turn it. it up. Yeah, let's turn let's it up. Let's turn it bad boy up. Let's, let's max it out. Right. This, this is the, this is, there we go. What you think? The clip is a little piercing to the ears compared to the go. Really? Yeah. Like the highs, the sibilance. The highs are, are too pretty, much. Highs are pretty high. So the go is, would you say, just a tad bit warmer, or what are you saying? Let me let me hear it real quick. I know this is rowdy. This is straight up loud noise right here. <laughs> Okay, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. This one, the, the clip five, it sounds good, but it does get a little piercing at max volume. Uh, a little bit of sibilance in there. This one is, I don't want to use the word soft because that's usually bad, right? But it's easier on the ears to listen to at, at max volume. So which one you going with, Wilson? I think I'll stick to my original option, the go. You don't like the clip, man. I like the clip, but it's a little too piercing for me for the highs, in my opinion. Even at like 50%? I don't know. Something about the go. Fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Be that way, man. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So Wilson likes the go four over the clip. All right. Now, all right, cool. We That's what Wilson likes. Me, personally, God dang it. I've had more time with these speakers than you do. You have. Than you have. Definitely. So I agree with you that this one sounds better as far as listening, but for overall usage, because I'm not usually listening to music when I listen to these things. I'm usually listening to an interview or a podcast or something like that. And I like the voices on this one. It, it, you know, it makes it fuller. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, it's tough for me too. 
Do I have to agree with you? I don't have to. You don't have to. I don't want to. But my, my inner side, my, my inside is telling me to go with Wilson's opinion. Damn it, man. I don't want to talk about it. Let's let the people decide. So here's your sound check. guys enough is enough you get to decide now which one you like which one you would pick you've heard their differences you've seen their differences and it's totally up to you at this point we got the jbl go four and the jbl cliff five you be the judge